So welcome ladies and gentlemen, we kick off NXT. New look, new feel to the show. It starts off with a knock on Mr. Samuel's office, and it's Harvey. The two legends stare each other down as Mr. Samuel opened the door, but Harvey acts all warm and kind to him before reminding him of their history, where if he didn't retire Mr. Samuel, Mr. Samuel wouldn't be the GM of NXT. Samuel asks what Harvey wants, and Harvey states that he's here for some aggressive negotiations. They can handle their business privately inside and can come to a mutual understanding. The segment ends as the door closes behind them. Afterwards, though, this is where things get further interesting as Chris Hall comes to the ring with a bag in his hand. He states that at the end of the night, there will be a contract signing, but he wants to bring his two challengers gifts. He points out that the main event of Mania's triple threat match, as that, that there is a main event triple threat match at WrestleMania, but those three don't have the history that Chris Hall, Mac Allen, and Trap do. No matter what, this is the most must-see match between the two main events, and he'll reveal more on the history lesson later in the show. That's next up, matchup number one. Matchup number one to kick off NXT, the rebranded Full Sail University, is bringing to you TJ Bauman versus Jason Jordan for those uh, also made by Mr. Marco. Give him some love on Instagram and other socials. As for those who are not in the know, if you watched NXT Level Up, TJ Bauman clashed with Jason Jordan's tag team partner Chad Gable and showed some disrespect after the match. Jason Jordan accepting this match to try and hopefully get some payback as he targets the arm of the Realist wrestler, the lo most legitimate wrestler in NXT, self-proclaimed, of course, as there's a shoulder tackle by Jason Jordan. He also claims that he's the wrestling machine of NXT. And now there's a stiff uppercut by the Kraken who runs the ropes. Bomb and with a splash right there. And now solid kick to the back. And now, leg sweep. All oh, ducks the kick to the back. Backstabber right there. Cover. War. Kick out at war. Slamming his head down to the canvas once. Twice. Oh, three times. No, no, no. Four times. That's the pissed off Kraken. Manhandling. Jason Jordan right now. And now. A swinging neck breaker lands cover. Whoa! No one in the half. Kick out right there. So close, but yet so far. And now has got him in a headlock. Trying to just wear him down. Shot to the face. Pushing the neck further. Neck feeling some more punishment. This is the final NXT before TakeOver 54, better known as Stand and Deliver. As there's a shot at him, but no. Jason Jordan bats it away. Iris whipping TJ Bauman to the outside. And a super kick right there to the jaw. Catching Jason Jordan. But no, Jordan counters the shoulder tackle as he regains momentum. And now forearm to the face. Bowman rocked the Kraken being picked up. Oh, wait, he woke up. Slams down Jason Jordan into the floor before getting back inside the ring. Is the Kraken feeling it tonight. There's a count of seven. He could be counted out. No, Bowman. Oh, look at the Superman punch blocked. Take down clothesline by Jason Jordan. Cover. Oh, but Jason Jordan talking some smack to TJ Bauman now. Before Bauman. Oh, 
Gets it with an elbow to the gut. Oh, here it goes. Military press. Spy buster right there. Cover. War. Oh, a little taste of his own medicine now. Bowman runs the ropes. Body splash there. Cover. War. Oh, and he's going to do it again. Payback on Jason Jordan. And now. Irish whipping him into the corner. Here it comes. Oh, shoulder thrust there. Human cannonball by the Kraken. Before hitting with a swinging neck breaker right there. And now Bowman has got him for a German suplex. We know Jason Jordan drops down the Kraken and then delivers a clothesline, flooring him to the morgue. And now targeting the leg of TJ Bowman. Or Irish whipping him to the corner. And now scoops him up, runs him to the opposite end. Oh! Slams him into the turnbuckles, and he's going to go for a 180. Oh, turnbuckle slam again. And now Jordan dialing it up. Wait, no, Bowman caught him. Here it comes again. Military press. Spy Buster lands. We're going for the submission. No. Jason Jordan shoving him away. Looking for the stop. Wait, no, Bowman. It's counters but no Jason Jordan levels him with a German suplex only for Bowman to get to his feet but it's a pop up toss and it's the canvas but it's right back up again Bowman won't stay down Kraken levels him on the middle turnbuckle and now scales the rogue's knee across the throat as he leapt off the middle turnbuckle Run of the ropes of the body splash once again in this match. Oh, but Jason Jordan counters it. Toss him over his head. Here we come, Zyrus swimming him into the corner. He's going to try and put him away. No. Missed it there. TJ Bowman. Bomb handle. Power bomb delivered there. And now picks him up, Spike! Oh, super brain buster right there! Before Bowman now, looking for the end, looking to put him away, looking to finish him off as he's got him in the Kraken's grip! The Kraken's grip has been cinched in! He could tap out! Jason Jordan desperately trying to hang on, but he taps out! Right here to kick off NXT, the Kraken feeds upon another victim. What a victory for him here tonight. Ahead of NXT TakeOver though, I don't know his fate. It is still crucial to pick up those victories. What a win for him tonight. He picked up a win on NXT Level Up and now here as well. Back-to-back -back shows. Back-to-back -back victories. But to be fair, he's been on a winning streak for quite some time as we head to the next segment. Congratulations to the Kraken. After the match, Ballman says, takes to the microphones and says that he's still the only legitimate wrestler in NXT. There's no one as good as him. But then, Kurt Angle comes out. Angle commends him for his success so far and says that he's honored. That Ballman idolizes him. But Ballman hasn't been pushed yet since his NXT debut. He could see it in Bauman's eyes. He sees a man with fire. He sees a man with success. But he hasn't been pushed yet. Not as hard as he was 
when he was fighting for the NXT Championship, and he knows that if he pushes Ballman, he will get the best out of him. And if Ballman wants a test, what better way than to fight someone who Angle sees is not only Im- or, or is not only impressed by, but believes is the future of the business? Ballman warns Angle that he's giving a nobody a lot of praise, and Angle smiles and tells Ballman that he needs to be on his A game because anything less will lead to his second loss in Universe Mode. Angle leaves, and Ballman looks pissed that he hasn't earned his idol's full respect. But it is clear that the challenge is being laid out for NXT TakeOver. And Angle plans to bring an opponent for him. Afterwards, Will Buzz Madison arrives in the building looking pissed off and hangs or bangs on the office of Mr. Samuel, but Harvey answers and gets in his face. Madison doesn't look down, or doesn't back down, and asks where the GM is so he can find R.J. Taylor. Harvey says he'll pass on the mess, or he'll pass on the message for him, and he, and if he, but if he wants Taylor in the ring tonight, then he'll figure something out with Mr. Samuel before slamming the door in his face. Now we had to match him number two. So, ladies and gentlemen, matchup number two, it is High Society versus Leo Rush and Shelton Benjamin in the final four. And High Society on the left-hand side, West and Mr. Expendable pick up the win. And now they will be in the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Finals at NXT TakeOver against Isaac Steele and Bundy. After the match, Perez comes out, the leader of the group of high society and congratulates them and celebrates. But then, redemption comes out of the ring. The NXT Tag Team Champions, which is Knox, Jackson Wolf, and also Kyle Jordan. And then they launch an attack from behind upon high society. Then Arthur Rex and Jacobs come out and head to the ring. They are the ambassadors of violence who are already using their rematch clause for the NXT Tag Team titles at TakeOver as the, it gets chaotic and they all brawl and help clear out the ring. Jordan then grabs a microphone and challenges Rex to a match tonight and says that the ambassadors of violence need to be put in their places. Rex accepts and as Redemption heads to the back, Bundy and Steel appear on the big screen on a beach in Florida. Bundy shakes his head with a smile and says they're all bickering over the gold. But ultimately the gold will be around the team that defines success. Steele nods to this and says that he was NXT champion near the beginning of this season. But at NXT TakeOver 54 at Stand and Deliver, he will begin next season as a champion again. They clink glasses together and drink as the segment comes to an end. It then cuts backstage to Bianca Belair, who's arriving in the arena in a parking lot with Candice LeRae to challenge Baszler and Maria, so it seems that Candice LeRae will be her partner, but they are attacked from behind by Shayna and Maria in the parking lot. After the beatdown, Shayna says that at, that they'll be at NXT TakeOver for a tag team match if the two won one before leaving. We had a match of number three. We actually go in person, ladies and gentlemen. It is Arthur Rex versus Kyle Jordan next.
So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Just wanted to give these two a little theme songs. It is the leader of the redemption, Kyle Jordan versus one half of the ambassadors of violence, Arthur Rex. I'm excited to see this as Kyle Jordan making his in-ring debut against a veteran. Both in wrestling and in singles competition despite being a tag team wrestler for his tenure so far in NXT. He is a former NXT tag team champion, Arthur Rex, respectively. And he competed in BCW as well as the BCW tag team champions alongside Miles Crossbones Jacobs. And they had, there was a massive scuffle as there seems to be a lot of tag team turmoil going in NXT TakeOver. And if your assumption is that, then you'd be right. Oh, and a back elbow by Jordan as Redemption secured the NXT Tag Team Titles last NXT show. To much to the pleasure of Kyle Jordan. And oh, Rex. Oh, turning him around. Oh, wait. A oh, caught him, I think, with a crossroads of sorts. Cover. Whoa. Kick out at wall. As Jordan. Lighting himself with Knox and Jackson Wolf trying to give them a bit of direction. As far as Rex goes, he wants the tag team titles back. Of course, Jordan wanted to test his skills, hopefully to soften up the Ambassadors of Violence a little bit ahead of their NXT tag team title match, which will be a triple threat tag team match with the winner of the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Tournament joining them. As we already had the result, it will be... A clash as, oh, there's a Spanish fly right there. It's going to be High Society in the finals alongside Isaac Steele and Bundy. So things are heating up in the tag team division. As Jordan picks up Arthur Rex with an Arthur Light suplex being delivered. As Rex now laid out. On the canvas, here it comes, oh, but he rolls out of the ring, dodging Kyle Jordan's aerial assault. As Jordan gets back inside, picked up though, here with a body slam by Arthur Rex, the British brawler, lighting him up. As now, he's got him in a cross face, cross face, cross face on Jordan, Jordan gets up. As he is getting worn down, his lower back and his neck and his face are getting wrenched here. Arthur Rex loves to go for submissions. The ground and pound game is his bread and butter. <clears throat> As for Jordan, he's more of a high flyer, fast and agile. Maneuverability in the ring utilizes speed to his success. Oh, and what a Harlem kick right there. Before getting sized up here, Rex though counters it. Turns it around, and see what comes. Rift or knee strike right there. Cover, raw, no, kick out in one and a half. As I was concerned for both men's well-being there. As Arthur Rex getting sized up in the ring once more. Oh, accidental attempt. No, missed it. Luther's press by Arthur Rex. We're going to pick up Kyle Jordan, but Jordan counters him. Jordan trying to grab the arm, but no. Rex counters. Oh, forearm to the face. And now Jordan picking himself up into the ropes. High knee by Arthur Rex. And now, oh, wow, got him right there. As now, sizing him up, shooting star, no, counter, counter the barrage, hark, a run of his own. As now, Jordan, sizing him up, close line once. Oh, wait, no, Rex counters. Back! Body drop there! And now, oh, hip toss there! So what a Destino shooting star press sequence from a minute ago as, oh my gosh, Rex gonna cinch him right back in his submission! But no, Jordan, a 
after being in there for a little bit of an extended time as there was a bit of a skip. Manages to work his way out of it. Not staying in there for too long. Knife edge chop. Lighting up Rex on the outside. But Rex counters. Setting him in the barricade. And uh, no. Picks him up. Oh. Ties him up there. Big boot right to the side of the head. As Rex. Feeling that the momentum has shifted into his favor. And quite frankly I don't blame him. He gets shoved back inside the ring. It's right there. Uppercut lands. Oh, both men collide into each other there. But Rex seemed to get the least damage from it. Packages him up into a pin. Raw. Two. Kick out at two. Jordan stays alive. And Jordan sweeping the legs there. We're picking him up. Here it comes over and strike with the right hand and he catches him with the Harlem kick. Cover. Raw. No one half. Jordan now cover again. No. Kick out again. This time before the count of one. Take a shot at the back, and off the Rex with a takedown to the legs before landing those forearms right to the skull of Jordan who tried to cover up. Oh, Phoenix blasts out of the middle corner, but no, as Jordan sizes him up. Here it comes, away. no, Rex countered. Oh, and here it comes, close line, straight to hell, before Rex dials it up, here it comes, blockbuster out of the corner, to put him away, to win the match, one, two, no, Kyle Jordan stays alive. And now, tossing Jordan into the corner. Jordan getting lit up here with the kicks to the chest. Oh, but lands a knee strike right to the ribs of Arthur Rex, which will impact his breathing before bringing him into the corner and lighting him up, stomping him away. Oh, oh, kicks right to the sternum, getting a little retribution. Cover, no. The count of one, Arthur Rex grabbed the bottom rope and the referee saw it. Now Rex, take down there, with an arm dragging a close line, yet again, and now Rex looks to fly, he's motioning, he's pleading, he's begging, as Jordan's getting up in a daze, he takes to the skies, forearm to the face, flooring Jordan to the canvas, and now stirring the pot, as Jordan, Getting up still in a daze. Here it comes. Rip car needs strike there. For getting into the corner. Looking for the blockbuster one more time. Here we go. Jordan is in trouble. Oh, tosses him over his head. Side stepped out of the way. Rolls him up to win the match. One, two, kick out at two. Now Jordan springboard moves south right now. Rex counters. No Jordan counters. Kicks him. Is the out from under him. Blockbuster of his own. Kyle Jordan. Going up to the middle. Time Michael 630. Set tight bomb. One. Two. Kick out at two. What a match between these two. As Jordan goes up to the top rope. Here we go. Oh, Harlem. Hangover. Lands. As he gives out one final taunt to this audience. Cover. One. Two. Three. The leader of redemption gets the win over Arthur Rex. Here on NXT. Wow!
What a war of attrition between these two as Jordan picks up a crucial win to add to his momentum and redemptions. For NXT TakeOver ahead of their NXT Tag Team title match. Congratulations to Jordan on his debut as we head to the next match. So after the match and after the victory, Kyle Jordan celebrates before motioning for Knox and Wolf to come down. They all begin to beat down upon Arthur Rex, but then Miles Crossbones Jacobs sprints the ring. The redemption dips out when they see he's armed with a chair, and Jordan says for them to wait till takeover. High Society and Steel and Bundy are the threats now. Just then, Jackson Wilkins attacks Jacobs from behind with a chair as well and stands over him in the ring before pointing at the hard camera telling Ox he'll be the star that Ox never will be before leaving the ring and holding out a, his hand to Jason or Kyle Jordan who shakes it before embracing the faction they raise their arms up. Jackson Wilkins burned down Next Gen to align himself with Redemption. Wow! As we head to the semi-main event, actually as well in person, it is the NXT Women's Champion Alice York defending her title against Ronda Rousey. We go to it now. So here we go, semi-main event, NXT Women's Championship on the line. Right now, there is no certainty on who will fight for the title at NXT TakeOver, but for Ronda Rousey, it is high stakes because this is her one shot, her one chance. If she loses here, she moves down the charts for the women's division, and that is something she definitely doesn't want to have happen, as here we go. Ronda Rousey, oh, gets right out with a DDT! By the champion Alice York, the real damn deal. As the real deal has to overcome the odds as she has Angel from High Society backing her in her corner. She's had her in her corner for a season, but the momentum for the champion continues to grow if she wins here tonight. It's now a shot attempt to the chest. No, countered as York drops down Ronda. Needs a stiff shot to the chest before getting caught up in a tight submission. It's Alice York needs to stay out of the submissions by Ronda Rousey. She needs to maintain control. Starting off strong, like right now, bodes well for her. As Ronda will be a tough opponent to topple. Ronda got to her feet. Oh, shoulder tackle right there. Flooring. Alice York down. Ronda Rousey, two-time NXT Women's Champion. Alice York, eight episodes into her first reign as champion. She gets dropped down after getting her arm worked over in the ropes. Kick out for the count of one. So Alice York got to her feet. For Ronda to grapple her and press her up against the ropes and then slingshot her off. Ronda now stomped to the arm. Arm drag counter by Alice York. Shot right to the back. Big boot there. Dropping down Ronda for going into a top mount position and wailing upon the challenger. Before going up, she's looking to take a high-risk approach to things early on, doing what it takes as here it comes. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, she's grabbed, slapped! Oh, I run a Rousey! Wow! Oh, but Alice York moves out of the way, looking for the super kick, dodged by Ronda. Russian leg sweep. Cover. War. No, what did that have? Explosiveness from these two 
The flurry of strikes before things settle back down. Ronda, Irish woman over the corner, looking for a knee to the ribs. Alice York counters. <gasps> Stunner! A whipper snapper stunner connects four, two, kick out at two, near fall for the champion. And oh, we going for an arm bar now. As she tries to make Ronda tap, tries to extend the arm fully but couldn't get it as Ronda works her way out of it. The judo experience playing a factor for Ronda. Hip toss to the champion. For Ronda placates to the audience. Cover. One. No one in the half. It's Ronda Rousey picking up the champion and slamming her down to the canvas. Well, once again, look at the audience. Shot right there, eats an elbow though, by the champion, the real deal, super kick to the rim, super kick to the face, cover, Whoa. kick out at wall. So Ronda's lights were not turned out by those two kicks, as Alice York goes to the top rope again, here it comes, drop kick missed, as Ronda sidesteps. And oh, ladies and gentlemen, all rise! Piper's pit lands upon Alice York! And now, Ronda Rousey sizing her up! Here we come! She's floating over! She's got her right where she wants her! Our boy sits in! Can she extend the arm of the champion? Or can the champion show her resolve, her heart, her resiliency as Ronda? Desperately trying to bend the arm back, but no, Alice York fends it off. Alice floats her with a big boop on everything she had behind it. Wow! As now, Alice York picking her up. Oh my gosh, a Oh, run us right back up after a spike pile driver. Oh my gosh. That's Ronda. Close line once. Twice. Ronda ducks the close line. No. Alice York dodges the close line and delivers a boot bouncing off the ropes for some momentum. Leaping elbow drops down Ronda. No way Ronda bats the hands away. Her to Ronda there. And now Ronda, bending the arm back. Ooh, stop at the arm now. A cover. One, two, near fall on the champion. It's now Ronda, stomping away. Oh, wait, Alice York rattling the jaw of the champion or the challenger. Oh, backstabber there. Cover. Wall. Uh, kick out at two near fall. Alice York. Oh, clap to the ears. Oh, she's got her. Last chancery. Last chancery by the real daft deal. As she tries to make run at top. Oh, but. Ronda counters with a shot to the face. We're gonna way out of it. Ronda scooping her up, slams her down. Cover. One, two, kick out at two. It's now Ronda. Oh, we couldn't put her away. A collision course, but a head scissor arc. Arana decides who walks out the victor between those two clashing. As now the champion scales the rungs, takes a leap of faith. Oh! Botchamania has entered the building and she miscalculated. Rana gonna take advantage of the error of the champion. The punches in the corner followed up by the hip toss across the ring, sending Alice York to the outside. Oh, but York ties her up under the ropes 
And now springboard, elbow drop across the chest, the abdomen of Ronda Rousey. And now here it comes, super kick to the jaw to retain. That's got to be it. One, two, no, kick out at two and a half. Wow. As Alice York couldn't put her away with that one, but she could right here, right now. As she dials it up, drop kick there. Camp up by the champion, leaping out ball. As now Alice York dialing it up, looking for a big move, but no. Run, counters the fall. Eyes are up. Oh, tries to go for potentially the arm bar. Gets right back to her feet. Oh, but a fierce of fireman's carry it drops. Run onto her knee. Shutting that train down. Alice York getting into the corner. Here it comes. Oh, super kick. No. Run. Touched it now. Turns around. Got it. Slam. Cover. Whoa. The challenger almost put away the champion. And now picking up. Alice York wasting no time. Knees to the ribs. Driving the wind out of her sails. For picking her up. Oh, ooh, what a power bomb there. With a waist lock. And now run. Scoops her up. Here it comes. Piper's pit for the second time. Cover. One. Two, kick out and two, just barely got the shoulder up in time. But Ronda, here it comes, armbar, no way. The champion counters, the champion counters. And oh, lays out the challenge. Lands an excellent move there. Two, kick out and two. Now run. Ooh. It's laid out. Backed into the corner. They're up on the top turnbuckle. Oh, looking to put her away. Run. They go counter. Cross body. Lands upon the champion. And now there is a submission by Ronda Rousey. This will be difficult indeed for Alice York. But York works out of it. For a boot, missed it there. Eats a jab, a shot to the stern. Drops her down. Looking for a kick to the back. No, wait. Alice Short counters in. Ferdinand. Her Karana. And now. Alice York, here it comes, that's the super kick for the second time, that's going to be in, one, two, so close but yet so far, the champion is one hell away from retaining here tonight. As she looks ahead, hopefully not past her opponent, but NXT TakeOver 54 looms and Ronda Rousey looks to take advantage, no. Shoved away, and Seguri there. And now, Alice York picking her up. Put her up on the, up on the top turnbuckle, no. Ronda bats it away, however, the champion counters, propping her up on the top turnbuckles yet again. Here we come, she's got her for a side slam off the middle turnbuckle, contorting the spinal cord of the challenger. And now, Alice York dialing it up. Here we come, she's got her up. Rack attack 2.0. Cover. One, two. Kick out in two, near fall. Angel is looking out in disbelief from high society. That's now the champion. Let him put away Ronda. Oh, no. Ronda counters. Picks her up. Piper's pit. Lands. Cover. 
Let's go with the title war! No, what an half! Much to the disbelief of Ronda Rousey! Who puts her picks her up? Look at her put her away! Alice Young shoves her away! Big boot lands right there! Before landing, the overhead strikes! Trying to put down and put away Ronda Rousey. Forearm right there by Alice York. York, no. Oh, wait. Eyes up, Ronda Rousey into the turnbuckles. Before scaling the rungs, here we go. Oh, diving elbow there. Cover one, two. Kick out at two. Now Alice York. Going for a springboard, here it comes, rolls through for the X-Factor spot! Buster counter by Ronda Rousey! Excellently done! Ronda is looking to finish it off! Looking to end the match, wait no! Close line counter by the champion! No way! No way! Here we go, super kick to the jaw! Ronda goes down! Whoa! The title! Wow! Alice York retains the NXT Women's Championship here tonight. As she puts away Ronda Rousey. Wow! What a moment for her indeed. As she picks up a crucial win. In my opinion. Congratulations to her. She looks ahead to NXT Taker. What a victory for the champion. After the match, Alice York and Angel celebrate. York grabs a microphone and informs Angel that she's be or that be because she's been so influential in helping her, she'd like for Angel challenge her at NXT TakeOver for the belt. Angel agrees and they hug. Just then, Dakota Kai comes out and informs them that it's obvious that Angel and High Society are just using York to get the NXT Women's title. And York is obviously, in Kai's eyes, setting up the dip from the group with her boyfriend, Devin Walker. But that's... But what's more obvious is Kai is here to invoke her rematch clause at NXT TakeOver, so their fun is spoiled. As she heads down the ramp, Mr. Samuel comes out with Olivia Falcon. And he looks tired, but informs the trio that Falcon interrupted his meeting to request to be added to the NXT TakeOver match. As well, reason being is because she was never pinned back before the Rumble. He agreed with her plight, so it will be a fatal four-way match. And it will be an elimination match as well to crown the new champion. I do apologize, I keep losing my spot here when I'm reading. Just then, Madison's Will Madison's music hits, and he storms past everyone who are leaving. Gets in the ring and demands RJ Taylor come out. He states that Baron Blade made it back safe and sound, but it's clear Cole Quinn doesn't care. But he does, and won't let it stand. 
Just then, the lights go out, and when they come back on, R.J. Taylor is standing in the ring, or standing on the ramp, and the Margrave is right behind Madison. Madison starts to head toward the ramp, but he is leveled by the Margrave, who beats him down till he's motionless. R.J. gets in the ring and scolds Madison for letting his rage get the better of him. Madison has lost his friend, his mentor, and now he's losing his grip on his own false sense of identity. Madison believes that he's the hero to the fans, but he's just a failure, and ultimately, someone obsessed about achieving the success behind the buzz. At an NXT takeover, the Margrave will level another false hero. Just then, Madison grabs the shoes of R.J. Taylor and spits on them, which earns him a powerbomb from the Margrave, who presses his boot against Madison's head before the lights fade out. Ladies and gentlemen, we head to the main event, the NXT North American title match. Dax Devonair defends his belt against Ty Noble. So, it is the main event, it's for the North American Championship, Dax Devonair versus Ty Noble, and Dax Devonair wins by a roll-up. Ty Noble was taken by surprise, was caught up in the hold after trying to cheat, but ultimately Dax Devonair caught him with the roll-up to get the win. Noble gets frustrated after, and looks shocked after, after uh, Dax gets out of the ring. He then proceeds to knock out the ref with a forearm to the jaw when the referee tried to check on him, and he leads through the crowd. Dax gets on the microphone, though, and gets in the ring, saying that now that the Golden Boy Drama Queen is gone to deal with the Roman and the bloodline over who's Caesar, he'd like to offer a proposition at TakeOver. He wants to leave his mark with his second reign. He was a little drunk, he wasn't thinking clearly, and clearly lost the belt due to being impaired and hung over in Vegas. So for this second reign, he wants to be a way better champion. So he wants to put the title up. Not just on the line, but high in the sky. With eight clips holding it in an NXT Ladder match, which comprises of six men. He might not be the athlete of the day, but his gut and sweaty body won't stop him from climbing up a ladder and getting his belt back. He says they, they have till the start of the NXT show, or the next show, NXT TakeOver, to blow up Mr. Samuel's email about it before he drops the mic and leaves holding up the title. So they're all in the ring for this main event segment with a table in the very middle of the ring. Chris Hall, the NXT champion, Ryan Trapp, and Mac Allen all come to the ring to sit down at the table, much like on SmackDown Live. Hall drops the bag he brought in at the start of the show on the table and says that this match is personal. It brought some souvenirs for the group. He pulls from the bag a headband of the new divine. He proceeds to highlight that he owes Mac Allen a lot. If it wasn't for Mac being such a naive partner, Chris Hall wouldn't have gotten propelled as far as he had. He then proceeds to draw out a knife before throwing the headband at Mac Allen, who caught it. Hall says that this is the same utensil that cut off Ryan Trapp's hair after he rammed Ryan Trapp's head through a car window two seasons ago. He sets it down and slides it to Ryan, who just stares at Chris Hall. Hall signs the contract and vows that both men will be humbled yet again. And the only trophy he'll be collecting this time, for this moment, is, a, is the one around his waist. Referring to the NXT Championship, he sits down as Mac Allen points out that Hall has had moments. But Mac Allen has the resume. He's beaten Hall, just as Hall's beaten him. 
They're one and one. They may have their solo match again, but for now, he thanks Chris Hall for the gift. It's a reminder of the good times he had with a rival that was made into his friend before throwing the knife of betrayal into his back. Alan thanks Chris Hall as well, further, and says that if it wasn't for Hall betraying him, he might not be preparing right now to be the face of the brand, which he will do at NXT TakeOver. Is the resume as the NXT North American Champion as well to validate just how damn good he is for signing the contract as well, and the two former friends stare hold holes into each other. Ryan Trapp picks up his microphone and nods to the two and says that he's done a lot of thinking since losing that championship. He wears the name Dynasty on his shoulders, and he's loyal. But right now he's thinking about the word Legacy. That word means a lot to him. Not because of a faction, no, but because he looks at everyone in the ring right now and they've all worked their way up. And now, as he's without his prize again, he sees how high they are above the rest and sees they are where he was as he looks down. These three here are the pinnacle of NXT. Right now, everyone else that he looks down to is exactly where he was. Once these three leave in this ring, they are back to square one. Takeover is exciting and nerve-wracking, both in who will win and knowing they are all bound soon to venture toward a larger league. He wishes them the best of luck and says that he'll never forget what Hall did. But he's going to drink in every moment he can, knowing that this might be the last time he stands in the bright lights of NXT's main event, battling for the prize they've spent three seasons trying to get. Knowing that once again, once they leave, no matter what, they're battling to determine who will stay as the future for this brand, for the people that he once stood as, as a common man. Grind it all the way up to this point. Who will stand to usher in that era when he had the keys or was given the keys, or the same way he was given the keys? He looks forward to seeing how this all plays out as he signs the contract before he then offers out his hand to Mac Allen, who shakes it. He doesn't offer a hand out to Chris Hall, and he leaves. Hall then proceeds to offer out his hand to Mac Allen, who spits in Hall's face before going for a super kick, but Hall ducked it and rolled out of the ring. Allen invites him to get back inside the ring, and Hall just shakes his head, saying for Allen to rest up, because at NXT TakeOver, he's kicking Allen's head off. He's, or he's kicking Allen off this brand and out of his life once and for all. All raises the title as the show fades to black to end NXT.